Right, here we go. Quiet on set. And action. Roku sits in the living room. You basically just take the Roku, you plug it in, and you know exactly how to use it. And so if a family is at their home in their living room and they want to watch a show, they want to watch a movie, we want to make that really easy. We started out building players, basically, and then moved into TVs over time. 2017, 2018 is when Roku really moved from being only a hardware company to providing you know, content as well with the launch of the Roku channel. I'm Julian, and my team at Roku looks after privacy from a user perspective, from a compliance perspective, but also from an advertiser and partner perspective. Everything we do at Roku starts with the user, right? And that's true for privacy as well. I think our focus is really how do we use data on the user side to power a great experience that's seamless, that's easy to use, and where we also make it transparent to users how we're using their data, but also we're part of an ecosystem. So how can we use data well for our partners and for our advertisers? The Snowflake Data Cloud has allowed Roku to build its own cleanroom product on top of the Snowflake infrastructure, which has allowed us to share or make data available with our advertising partners in a privacy-safe way, so giving advertisers additional value while fully protecting user data and not compromising user privacy. What was great for us was to realize how much overlap Roku has with Snowflake within the media data cloud in terms of partners that we're both working with together already, just being more tightly integrated with the Roku ecosystem and Roku ad stack. All of these partners are really important to power our ecosystem and provide a great experience for our users. Really where the clean room comes into play is you know, making the viewing experience better, personalizing the ads experience in a much more meaningful and thoughtful way, and I think really overall elevating the user experience.